Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Dead money. I'm the Mysterious JG. And, um... Oh, there's a bartender over there. What do you gotta say? Fucking hog I'm stares at you expectantly. Oh, he's looking for us to buy. We did run into one of these guys before. It looks like he basically trades, uh, for stuff. To whatever extent that makes sense. Uh... Other than that martini, you didn't really have a lot of stuff that I'm all that interested in. Um, although, actually, to tell you the truth, sunglasses aren't really worth anything. Uh, oh. I misunderstood how that worked. I thought... Um, I thought it was 2,500, there were 12, and it was 2,500 in pre-war money for 12 caps. But it was 12 caps per single unit of pre-war money, and that guy's holding 2,500. So, never mind. Uh, let's go back to our map and see. They want us to go back to the lobby. Um, thinking maybe some doors opened up down there now? They were not open before, perhaps? Hmm, whatever. Hopefully I don't break a leg with all this nonsense, but, uh... Um... What the heck is this place about? Never mind. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, uh, thought that... Thought the door should have been right behind where I landed, but I landed on the wrong side of that level. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, man, that doesn't matter. Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or right. guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. Yeah, I'm listening to them. It's like a martini. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close. Reset the signal. Or blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference. And now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the callers don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the callers. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the caller frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Oh, just not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. You're evil. He wants me to murder them? Um, hasn't really given me indica any indication. I know now why he hasn't already murdered me. Well, I, he's probably still got use for us, but... Anyway, we're now hungry and thirsty. Uh, those seem to be rising a lot faster. I think maybe that was working differently. What is all that noise? Oh, there's that flower I dropped a lot earlier. Oh, those are the ghost people trying to get in. Alright. Well, you know, we don't really want that, do we? Um. Well, suddenly, uh, food and water would be a good thing to have. I haven't really noticed, uh, a lot of places to get that, but, you know, maybe the restaurant. So he wants us to kill our friends! 
he said something about the inter the material that the casino is made out of is interfering with his ability to blow them up. Going to make casino burn. No more being. Um. That just seems evil, dude. I'm not doing it that way. He's my friend. Well, we got a uh, emergency maintenance key. We got an emergency maintenance key, and I also picked up some crap I didn't want, which put us over the edge. I don't even know what it, what was. What do they call those? Uh, earning clipboards or something? Yeah. Well, this is frustrating. We've now got. Um, What all aid do we have? The aid doesn't have any weight, basically, because I got rid of... I've used up everything that has weight, almost. Doctor's bag? Yeah. Junk food I was holding on to in case I can make another cocktail, but it doesn't really help with um, hunger. Got too many pistols. These don't have a lot of weight. So what is uh, making me carry so much? Well, I guess my car my carrying capacity has not gone down from having um, I'm carrying a lot of miscellaneous stuff, I guess. Uh, 320. Oh, all the blank magazines. <laughs> yeah, I do feel a little silly about that. Carton of cigarettes. Not carrying anymore. Don't care anymore about buying stuff with, um... How it's firing mechanism. The, no, I no longer really care about buying stuff with the casino credits because I think if he wants us to go kill all of our friends, and we've decided we're not killing our friends... This stuff's got a certain amount of weight. Microfusion cells doesn't wait that much. Oh, it just bothers me to get rid of those because they're actually valuable. It's a lot of little numbers making up that 200, I guess. The gas bombs are kind of heavy. I get, I get the same way with my work email. I'm trying to, like... Retrieve the emergency door key. Access the kitchen. Okay. So we can hear him from here, but apparently we need to get to the kitchen to actually deal with him. But, you know, if we turn him back into God, we should be able to reason with him. Oh, I... oh he's actually arguing with himself right now. Okay, so I'm gonna die here, because, yeah, didn't quite get far away enough from that thing. Alright, well, let's try this again. I, I believe we will auto-load as upon entering the room, which means we'll have a little bit to do over, but... Including that little bit of inventory management. No, wait, I guess we... We gotta save for that. Don't, then you're Doors are medically sealed due to the gas leak in the kitchen. Well, I mean it's key can override the lock, it will open the it will not open to the inside unless the gas valves are shut off. Well they stopped talking, did they? Okay, they hear me. 
listening to me. Tired of being your minder. Tired. Well, I guess back in the cage. We can't help because I was going to play the voice, but uh, he says back in the cage it still doesn't work. So it sounds like Dog is asserting dominance. Um, what was that? Quest item? It was miscellaneous, I think. I guess we're just hearing them talk now. Can't actually control the outcome uh, from here. If I get to do that at all. See, it looks like there's stuff I should be able to interact with in there. Ah, uh, excellent. No radiation at all. What do you mean I no longer have radiation sickness? Did I have it before? Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's a stim pack on the floor. Toilet stim packs! And I'm in the ladies room, so that's... That's naughty. My character uh, doesn't have the same purient interest that a uh, male character might have. But, um... Unless he's, you know, like a young confirmed bachelor who happens to be interested in, I don't know, ladies' clothes or something. Which is a subset of the confirmed bachelor community. I'm now trapped. <laughs> this is how women's rooms actually work. Remember, I accidentally went into the women's room once because uh, it was odd. The uh, distance learning center where I was taking one of my accounting courses... Uh, was set up in such a way that on the third floor, no, I'm sorry, on the second floor, they they had bathrooms in these little alcoves. You would you would, you know, you would be walking down a hall. You turn to your left. There's a little alcove. You step forward, and to the left there is a door that leads to a men's room. To the right is a door that leads to a women's room. Uh, but they're both like there's a little alcove you step into, and then it branches off into either path. And on the second floor, it's men's room left, uh, women's room right. And then one day, so most of the time, and I had a long drive to get back to uh, home. So I would usually, uh, on the second floor where I took the class, on my way out, I would use the bathroom and then get in the car and drive home. Because even though it, was a, it wasn't as far for me to go as it was to the main campus of the college, but it was still a little bit of a trek. And... Um, but one day, for whatever reason, I went down to the first floor before realizing, oh, you know what? I'll hit the bathroom before I leave. And on the first floor, it's a little alcove. And I, you know, probably a dozen times I'd been into the bathroom, the men's room. Where is this thing? Why would it be up on the in the middle of the bathroom somewhere? Oh, there it is. Well, I don't know why it was there, but at least I found it. But yeah, one day I, I went onto a different floor and um, it was just arranged the other way. So without looking at the sign, because I'd been on the second floor where the men's room was on the left. I forget which side was which, but at any rate, I went to a different floor, and they were arranged differently, so I went in, like, I actually got inside and uh, stepped in before noticing that there's rows of um, stalls on both sides and no urinals, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, thank god there, were, there was nobody in there using it, because I would have, or somebody coming in behind me, because I would have been totally freaked out. And they would have thought that I was some kind of like, you know, either retard or perv. And uh, I'd like to think I'm neither. I'm smiling. If you could see me, there'd be like a, a white flash on my teeth and it'd be going ding. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you guys keep on uh, trying to get in. You're, you're a little scary. Uh, I think you have to go back into the casino to get to the... Um, 
I guess we can take an elevator to the suites, but no, I think we're meant to go now to the uh, the kitchens. Do I not have this key yet? I guess not. All right, back down, I guess. We can get to the suites, but it doesn't seem to... The plot doesn't call for us to do that yet, I don't think. Anyway. So that's my story of the time I accidentally went into the ladies' room. <laughs> what an exciting tale. No, I mean, I, I can't really capture just how horrifying it was to realize that I had accidentally wandered into the ladies' room. And I actually have now a sense of admiration for a cleaning staff who can go into the opposite sex's bathroom because it's part of their normal job duties. And it's like, but you shouldn't be in here. You're a lady. <laughs> Okay. For some reason, it wouldn't let me do that from the other floor. Oh. That idiot's opened the gas valves. A single spark, or he sets off his collar. The casino's going to burn. Us, along with him. Oh. Close the gas valves, or that idiot will kill us all. So he's decided to burn the place, huh? Well, can I just reason with him? Do I have to? I guess he takes this whole place out yeah this is pretty cool I, I'm I'm I think I'm gonna gonna enjoy this um, this skill of uh, turning the well I don't know that I'll get that much use out of it but still kind of neat conceptually Don't know what the skill check is for repair, but it's probably not that high. Okay, that was like a skeleton. I thought maybe we'd found a dog. My voice won't work. Okay, well we did find him. Down. <laughs> He's just on the other side of the wall right now. Won't help. Master. No, not master. Dog remembers you. Kind to dog. Actually, I dog primarily dealt with God. Do this. Yes, he can. You caused this. Coddled him. Protected him. Now I'm going to have to I take control from you. Coddle him too much. You, you need to go. Run. Dog is going to burn voice. Burn voice out. Burn it away. This would be more affecting if we could see him. Dog, if you do this, you'll kill yourself. If you try to burn the voice out of you, this casino will be destroyed and us along with it. There's no need for any of that. Let's get out of here. Dog is tired of voice inside. Tired of being in another cage. Again. Try to... Understand, kill I'm a magic man. Dog. Kill them. If this casino is destroyed, good. It'll kill the old man, too. Oh, God, you're not helping. The one who shouts at Dog. The voice shouts. And to stop the voice, Dog needs to burn it out. Dog, that voice doesn't control you, all right? You're not leaving me any choice. I have to stop you. Fine, Reject. You want to die, I'll accommodate you. Man, you can be a real jerk. Uh, This is no good, though. I can't fucking see him. I'm not going through the entire conversation this way. Ridiculous. Shut off the gas valves or that idiot will kill us all. Probably need to approach him from another direction so that I don't... It's gotta be over here, right? Well, maybe not. Uh, my voice... Won't... Still not really a good... But... We got a lot closer. Boy, he's got pretty good perception. We've got... Because we got a very high sneak score. And he still managed to find us, and, uh...
These knives are made for cutting, and that's just what they'll do. I think this is distract him or something. <coughs> or not. My voice won't work. Won't hold him. I I um uh, I think we are equipped to deal with it. I just don't I don't approve of the fact that I can't freaking see anything. We didn't even manage to get but from there we didn't even manage to get close. My this 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 will work. Dog is tired of kill this human. Your shirt's Shouts gone. Dog. dog, that voice doesn't control you. All right, you're not leaving me any choice how to stop you. Dog tried to shut it out, tried to hurt self enough to make it quiet. Shh, dog. Let me handle this. I'll let you feed on this human when we're done. See, we were nice to God, but he's just a jerk. We probably sh I guess we should have been helping Dog all along, but... My take on it was that, like, this creature was intelligent, and we were trying to prevent its feral side from taking over, but no. Uh, God... You know, this character would appear to be completely immoral. He He's ready to just freaking murder us. Master's here now. Master wants you to stop this. Master? Master, dog hoped you would come. Voice... Voice is going to stop you. You think your pull is stronger than mine? No. No, I've minded dog. I wish we could just, like, actually try to reason with God. Ever have. He won't listen to you. If Master sent you, dog is listening. Oh, fudge. Well, try to picture the, vi the voice inside and uh, turn in and look at it. Oh, I tell him to kill himself. Nah, let's uh, actually pass the speech challenge with uh, a book, because I think we've got one. I'll be a little annoyed if we don't. We're one point short. See if we can actually make a new speech book. Because if we can, that means we've obviously got speech book. Uh, explosions, critical chance, melee weapons, sneak. Oh, please tell me I've got a speech book somewhere. Didn't look like I did, did it? Fudge. Damn it. We're really close to leveling, but... If we weren't stuck in this place... Yeah, we can't get anywhere close to him. This is frustrating. Don't know the... Best way to deal with them. I don't... I really don't want to make him kill himself. Dead man's hand. Alright. Just, you know, a speech check magazine would be such a good thing. 
Once I get back out of here, I can have all of them I want in the main game, but here, uh, stuck with whatever I can find. None of you guys are, uh, pre-war books, but not like a speech-boosting kind of thing. Maintenance locker, the odds that it contains a book on public speaking are low. But, you know, we can do what we gotta do. Suppose we could have like a George and Lenny situation here. We we gotta tell him to kill himself, or we gotta tell him to look at the rabbits while we do it. I don't really see a, a great happy future for this particular nightkin anyway. I mean, I know it sounds a little harsh, but. I guess we could get him to the Jamestown, Jamestown, whatever it's called, the place where the like the little Nightkin village. Maybe we could help him out a little bit, but a bunch of egg timers, just a bunch of stuff that doesn't really help us. But it gave us a little more uh, experience. You know, if I could level up, I, I probably would put one more point. Normally, there's no... If you're going to use magazines for t skill checks, there's no point in going over 80. But, at this point, if we had one more point, it would be enough. Because we ended up somehow with 84. Probably from books. Oh, this is frustrating. I don't see how we get closer, um, unless we got to go back and come from the other direction. Well, we can uh, repair this. much closer we got to get. The thing is that, like, probably dealing with this will give us enough experience to level up. Alright. Um, it's a little on the early side. I'm going to call it a video. When we come back, I guess... Well, I guess off-screen I could make my way... I don't know. Do I want to off-screen or do we want to do this together? I'm trying to see if there's another way to get into that room so we can shut off the gas valves. Ah, you know, maybe by some bizarre chance there will be a... Um, a speech magazine. That's what we really need. Yeah, anyway, folks. I'm Serious JG. Thanks for watching. Uh, when we come back, we... I really would rather not put Dog down. I was kind of hoping that we could actually work with the God personality, but it just seems like it... It's like its first go-to place was, Hey, Dog, give me control, and you can feed on this human. Dog is the only one who really, even though we spent most of our time with using God mode, I figured that would actually be advantageous because it would build trust with that thing. We turned him into Dog only when God suggested we did, but really, as nice, no matter how nice I was in the dialogue choices, God was always kind of an ass. And it seems like, uh, again, big guy upstairs, I'm talking about this in-game character, he continues to be an ass. So we'll have to figure out how to deal with him next time. Bye-bye, folks.